Alright, so now for stage 6, Night of the Jackal. Now, I have very fond memories of this stage, mainly because I remember whenever I would go to, like, Target or some other store that had it, like, where you could play demos of video games out in the store. This was the stage that the demo had, so I remember playing this stage quite a lot when... God, I remember when, when stores actually had demos that you could play. You don't see that anymore. Anyway, let's get the stage started. The data you retrieved in Switzerland includes a file titled Damaged Goods. We believe this is a code word for Dr. Natalia Demescu, a scientist formerly in the employ of Malprave. Dr. Damascu escaped with a data chip containing information on something known as Poseidon. Fearing for her life, she has taken refuge in the British Embassy in Romania. There is evidence that Malprave has hired Carla the Jackal to raid the Embassy and kidnap Dr. Damascu. Bond, you must prevent her from being kidnapped. Carla, huh? 007, I've secured a room in an upper floor apartment around the corner from the Embassy. You'll have to get past a sniper on the tree-lined street to get into the apartment. I'll provide you with a device that will allow you to infiltrate the embassy. Okay, then. So, yeah, this Natalia Demescu lady was a former employee for Malprave, and now she's fleed for her life to those, to Romania at, at the embassy, and these people are trying to kidnap her. So we need to save her. Night of the Jackal. Bond. Malprave is going to attempt direct assault on the embassy. Their target is Dr. Natalia Damescu, who used to work for Malprave. She has a data chip indicating the location of something known as Poseidon. Make sure that Dr. Damescu is not captured. We'll certainly try our best, Em. Right, let's rock. Oh dear. That's not good. Tactical roll. That was a cool tactical roll you did there. Too bad it didn't do you any good. Right, there's a sniper over this way. Got him. There's also body armor there, but I don't think it is just yet. I think that guy just blew up his comrade. That got him. Bond. The terrorists control the front of the building and they've taken civilian hostages. You'll need to take an alternate route to ensure their safety. Okay. Use the safe house on the other side of the embassy. R will provide further instructions upon your arrival. Great, so now we have hostages to worry about. But anyway, there's a frenzy shotgun and some body armor down this down this road if you want to pick them up. Nice try. This sniper here is pretty accurate. See, he got me already. Alright, we got him. It's just once he has his line of sight on you, you can't really see. So it can be very difficult to take him out. Right, we're gonna need our Q claw to repel up to the building. Right, we're gonna jump over to the balcony. Got us his sniper rifle. We'll repel back across and enter the building. Oh my. That is just full on booty right there. Ah, yes. The latest in holographic technology. Oh, it's just R. I thought that would catch your eye, 007. Now pay attention. 
This ordinary looking business card contains circuitry that will turn your watch into a skeleton key for digital locks. Its beam will disrupt any digital encryption. Quite clever, I dare say. I wouldn't. Man, I miss Q. Bond movies just haven't been the same since Desmond Llewellyn died. It was so good. And he had such a good chemistry with all the Bond characters. Uh, Bond actors. I miss him. Anyway, let's go ahead and enter the embassy. We're gonna need some more heavy firepower here to protect these hostages, so I think the shotgun will do us good here. You're not killing those hostages. That got him. So these guys are using in in Gullis submachine guns. I'm not a big fan of this weapon. They're very inaccurate. Oh, hello there. Considering our ammo is kind of limited at the moment. But grenades are going to serve me well in this room. Or, you know, it'll get me killed. <laughs> oh well. Try that again. Takes care of the hostages again. It's either in Gallus or in Goals. Not really sure. Alright, so I know grenades can help me out here if I use them right. Just like that. Right, let's just rush him. The grenade didn't hit. Location is the phrase king and country. The terrorists are evacuating now, so you must hurry. Alright, so the clue is king and country, which is referencing the Union Jack. There's a hidden door behind it. And voila, there's Miss Damascu. The name is Bond, James Bond. They've taken the data chip containing the information on Poseidon. Well, then we'll just have to go after them. We're going to be coming up against a boss fight in just a moment. It's tempting to use the sniper rifle, but we want to try and save the ammunition for it. So we're going to have to use something else. Let's use the Viper for now. Well, well, that famous James Bond.
Okay, now that she's over there, we push this button. And she dies a classic Bond villain death. Bond, did you encounter the Jackal? What happened? She's fallen for me. <laughs> Quite literally. So yeah, kind of a lame shootout, but it, it gets you a Bond villain death. What more could you ask for? Plus, you get the one-liner. That's all I could ask for. Alright, so here's where I've been saving the sniper rifle ammo for. So this helicopter is going to get away, and in its place is going to be an attack chopper. Now, if we want a bond move, we need to take out the pilot with a single shot. Got him. Well, not a single shot, but we need to try and aim for his head. If you if you manage to get a headshot on him, the helicopter will crash and it'll get you a bond move. Just don't do like I did when I recorded this game several years ago. You take out the chopper and then the chopper ends up falling on you, killing you instantly. So you have to do this whole part over. It was kind of sad, but also kind of amusing at the same time. But as long as you retreat into the building, it, it can't hurt you. You'll be safe. Alright, another 100,000 points. And this gold medal got us golden grenades. Alright, so I think this will be the last mission I do right here for the day, because I want to kind of try and split this game in half so that I do one recording session now, and then finish the other set of missions next time. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Alright, so let's start up Stage 7, Streets of Bucharest. In her debriefing, Dr. Damascu informed us... Oh, hold on a moment. Sorry about that, just had a phone call that I had to take real quick. Now let's really start Stage 7, Streets of Bucharest. In her debriefing, Dr. Damascu informed us that Poseidon is a secret laboratory where Malprave develops her clone replicants. However, Poseidon's location remains a mystery. That information was on the data chip stolen by Malprave's henchmen. Dr. Damascu installed a microbeacon on the data chip, but it requires a special locator to read its signal. R has delivered a suitable tracking device to the local train station for your immediate retrieval. Our satellite reconnaissance indicates the helicopter pilot jettisoned the chip somewhere in the city before his damaged craft was destroyed. Malpray's men will undoubtedly be looking for it, so you must recover it as quickly as possible. Once you have the chip, you'll need to deliver it to R's field office on the other side of the river. From it, he should be able to discern the location of Poseidon. Good luck, 007. Alright, so in a nutshell, we just have to get that data chip before Malpray's men do. I gotcha. So this is actually the second and the last driving mission of the game. Let's go, Bond. 007, the data chip has been ejected from the damaged helicopter. Retrieve the Q-locator and find that chip. Alright, so let's find that data chip. Now we do have the reward unlock that gives us infinite missiles, so that'll, that'll make taking out enemies in these missions a lot easier. Now if we want to get one of the bond moves, we're going to have to use Q-slicks on one of the cars chasing us. But the problem is, most of the time they're not chasing you, they're actually in front of you. So there's not many good opportunities to use them. Oops, wrong way. Wasn't paying attention to my map there. There may be an opportunity right here. Nope. Never mind.
Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. 007, the data chip has been ejected from the damaged helicopter. Retrieve the Q locator and find that chip. Having infinite missiles for this mission really helps out. It's one of the rewards that we got from a gold from getting a gold medal. Tricky part though is trying to uh, trying to use those Q slicks to get a bomb move. Not many good opportunities to use it, unfortunately. There we go, that worked. That got us the bond move. The flashing beacon on your GPS map indicates the position of the locator, 007. Now don't dawdle, we have precious little time. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. You wanna be careful when you go in here because there's two helicopters guarding the place on both sides of the train station. Now, if you take them both out with your missiles, then you'll get another bond proof. Well done, 007. Now go find that ship. Yep. You have little time before Malbro's men get to it. Working on it. This poor car, it's looking so beat up. Got the helicopter, so it stops chasing us. Have to jump. Yeah. Bye. You're not getting that chip. I am. We need to go full speed here so we can get another bond move. It's imperative you get that device. Yeah, just like that. Decoding. If you go full speed f through that section after getting the chip, Bond will prop up the car on two wheels so that he can get past those two cars that are trying to box him in. As soon as possible, 007. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Bond move right there. That was cool. You'll have to get across the river, 007. I've left you something that should give you a boost. I see. We need the time is just right. As soon as we hit the steps, use the Q boost. That'll propel us across the river. Yeah, just like that. But we're only halfway done with the stage. We still got more to go. You'll have to rendezvous with R007. Our satellite indicates that Malpre's men are swarming out there. Exercise extreme caution. I found just the thing. Oh, ho. tank time, baby. This is gonna be fun. So from here we enter another rail shooter segment. Basically, just mow down whatever gets in your way. Works for me. Oh, hello.
saying goodbye. Alright, so the barrels are coming up. That we need to blow up. There we go, just like that. Gonna stop me? Another helicopter. You can also switch to the tank cannon, but it's kind of hard to aim with it. So you might be better off just sticking to the chain gun. Uh oh. Well, for that, we can use the tank cannon. Aim for the helicopter, and it'll take out the bridge completely. Nice. Took out two baddies at once with that uh, ga uh, gas truck. Got them both. Usually I can only get one of them if I'm lucky. Equipping those Q vision goggles should give you an advantage in the dark, 007. Q vision, huh? We've learned that Malprave's men have commandeered a supply train. Be on the lookout. <laughs> there were some explosive barrels there next to that car. That's what blew it up. Kind of hard to see, though. 007, the battery pack for those goggles is about to expire. gonna need our cannon for this part because now two tanks are blocking our path and we just need to time our shot just right there we go just like that aim for the red gas tank and I'll bring down the bridge on the two tanks and mobilize good job 007 R is waiting for you yeah well that was a blast Hello, R. Smashing entrance, wouldn't you say? No, I wouldn't, 007. <laughs> <laughs> I've recovered the chip. With a bit of your handiwork, it should tell us the location of Malprave's secret lab. We'll leave that job in Zed's capable hands. Very capable indeed. Oh, James. Yay, we made it through. And we got enough points to get the gold medal. And this time it unlocks the Lotus Esprit, which is a, a new car for Bond to drive. It seems kind of pointless, though, because you can only use the, Lo the Lotus Esprit in the car missions. And there's only two in the game anyway. Uh, Dangerous Pursuit and Streets of Bucharest. 
So you can only really see it if you go back to the stages again. It's kind of silly like that. I'm going to have to save over this. I'll keep it named Ominous. Since I already have a, a save file that's called Calic. Alright guys, so I think that this is going to be a good stopping point for today. Like I said earlier, I wanted to kind of split the missions in half so that I can do another recording session later. Because I'm trying to record this alongside the Star Wars Rogue Leader so that I can pair them up together and have you guys watch them at the same time. Alright guys, so this is going to be my stopping point for today. When you join me next time, we'll be starting up Stage 8, Fire and Water. So I'll see you then, guys.